everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here and today we're at SeaWorld San Antonio and we're going to give you a quick tour of everything there is to discover at Discovery Park. So just to give you an idea, here's the front main gate to every park over in this complex. Aquatica's entrance is right here and then you have SeaWorld San Antonio is over by that welcome sign over there and then Discovery Point is over here. So actually you don't need any like physical form of pass or ticket to get into Discovery Point, I believe. But um, hopefully we'll get some really cool views of dolphins as well as other fish. So let's go into Discovery Point before we leave SeaWorld San Antonio. Well, it doesn't seem to be too well known about right now, or at least not many people care, but it does close at five, which is about an hour and 45 minutes. But it's like eerily quiet over here. Kind of interesting compared to the rest of the park. You always saw somebody, oh, well, there's some people, but it's definitely quieter over here. Even though you don't technically need an admission, you just need to go through security and um, you can just walk right in. Also, this is where you get to swim with dolphins. If you sign up for that interaction, you can do that here. So, um, also, look at those rocks shaped like dolphins. It's cool. And speaking of dolphins, you can see a couple of them punching the surface over there. So just to give you an idea of detail and just care that's gone into this area, look at the ground. Always, always look at the ground to see how much care has gone into an area. You can tell there's been a heck of a lot of care done here, especially with all the seashells and just the different rock work and everything. But this is honestly a hidden gem, at least for this park in specific, as well as both SeaWorld parks I've visited. And it's not even technically part of the park itself. So this Polynesian architecture is absolutely gorgeous and uh, we're actually going to head over to the underwater viewing area it would seem because that's another place we go but it's so unbelievably quiet here at least right now where it, hi, hi, hello <laughs> this is so cool um yeah you just, you just get some crazy views of these beautiful Pacific bottlenose dolphins. And also there is a trainer on site and you can ask whatever question you want. But we're literally within 5 to 10 feet of three Pacific bottlenose dolphins right now. And it's, it's just crazy. Let's take a check down below. So this place... Discovery Point is reminding me a lot of what I would expect Discovery Cove to be in in Orlando. Uh, that's kind of the it's kind of the same idea here, but I, I just wow the the plant work, the architecture, this the amount of time put into everything in this area you can just tell. And this is honestly better looking than most of SeaWorld San Antonio, and that's actually saying a heck of a lot because SeaWorld San Antonio is. Pretty dang gorgeous. Well, let's get inside. Again, looking at the floor, <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy how much detail is in here. And speaking of detail, look at the walls and the rock work, as well as just this entire underwater viewing area where you can get a real nice view of the bottom of those dolphins. Mind you, you don't need park admission. That's it's crazy. <laughs> I've legitimately never gotten this great of a view of bald and lost dolphins. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Crazy to me. Oh. Be 
behind the underwater dolphin viewing area is Explorer's Reef. Now, if it's open or not, I don't know, or if they're just trying to keep the cold air out, which is fair. Uh, so we're gonna try the doors real quick, but amazing work on the facade on this. Like, it's gorgeous. Oh, man. So it is open. It was just to keep out the light because it is so incredibly dark in here. But look at all these fish. This is something that needs to be inside the park. This is this is so mind-boggling to me because this is all that SeaWorld San Antonio was missing inside the park. And it's all right next door for free. Crazy to me. So this is legitimately a full-on aquarium in here. And yet it's literally in the back of a place that not many people go to. Like it's oh. It's crazy. Pregnant yes, yes, lots of pregnant seahorses. Lots. Oh, I don't want to film that. Okay, this is incredible. Um, wow. <laughs> Just the amount of life in here is insane. This is a bigger underwater viewing area that even SeaWorld San Diego has. And I, I feel like it's so little like, known about. Uh, it, it's crazy, crazy to me. Because this is a full on aquarium piece in here. So I thought it was just this room, right? That was this singular tank. Nope. As you can see in the distance, that's the same tank with a sand tiger shark swimming close to the window. This is insanity. I cannot believe how much life in it and, and how freaking huge this tank is. This is a bigger tank than I've ever seen before. Unless I guess you're talking about the submarine ride at Legoland, California, but I, I don't, I think this is bigger than that, honestly. But it's, it's insane. I, I can't think of another word besides absolutely immaculate. Uh, wow. Just that view though with the shark swimming in the distance. Quite menacing as well. Mind you, still the same tank. Also some sharks I've never seen before. Um, not entirely sure what those types of sharks are. Uh, I know that well, that looks like a sand tiger, but it actually looks kind of different than the ones I know. Um, so maybe it is a different type of sand tiger, potentially, maybe an Atlantic sand tiger. I, I really don't know. Um, but I will have to look at the screens up ahead to see what type of sharks are housed in this exhibit. Because there are definitely some sharks I've never seen in person before, at least. Um, but man, it's crazy to think this is the same tank. And, oh... Somebody's taking a little nap. So the one I was asking about is a sand bar shark or a black tip shark. Um, you know, it doesn't really have a black tip, which I find interesting. But um, so those, the, that's answered my question. And it is apparently just a sand tiger shark. Just um, they might be a little smaller than the ones in San Diego, if anything. Oh, that one's not. It's insane. Just. Uh, that's the same tank all the way off in the distance, like 150 feet away. Oh. So, uh, to add on to that aquarium field, we got some poisonous frogs right here. Um, super cool. And they're all out and about right now, like they're just moving. Um, don't touch them though. That literally looks like a piece of like plastic or rubber that you'd find in a, in a trick-or-treat bag for Halloween, but it's the actual frog. There's so many, I, I keep seeing more and more, holy cow. Uh, again, another massive tank. Uh, wow. Super cool. Also, not too far away from the football field tank, I'll call it. <laughs> so, just got out of Explorer's Reef, and right next door is Ocean's Treasures, a little gift shop in here. Actually, a pretty massive gift shop from the looks of things, but they've got some quite expensive stuff up front as well. Uh, you can see by just the statues and the glasses and everything. Really cool. I'm gonna get a look inside real quick and warm up a little bit from the immense cold. So that's pretty much all there is at Discovery Point. There, oh, and there is restrooms right here. Forgot to mention that. But 
it's pretty fantastic in all honesty i think i honestly enjoy this just walking around looking at stuff more than most of SeaWorld san diego i mean even just this view of the dolphins alone is uh, awesome I just absolutely awesome now discovery points not too big there's actually uh it seems to be another gift shop over there or oh actually i think that might be where you get suited up after you check in for your dolphin encounter if you purchase one um but that's where you sign in over at this building and then i think you suit up over here and then you come in and then you go through either on the staircases right there if you're not you know doing the full thing or i can't i don't really know exactly what every one of those experiences has in store since I haven't done one and I can't really afford one, but super, super amazing over here. Also, right at the entrance and exit, there is a Discovery Point gift shop, just to let you know. So I hope you enjoyed this little walk around look at Discovery Point. Honestly, one of my favorite places at any park I've ever visited. Super awesome. Even though there's really not too much to it, it's just done so well. But hopefully you guys can check it out. If, you, if you're in the San Antonio area, I definitely recommend it if you're a fan of Sea 